We're in an incredibly fast-moving and challenging environment. We've seen growth accelerating in many countries, but very, very unevenly. But this has been accompanied by rising inequalities, by new forms of discrimination and violence in many parts of the world, by instances of rising unemployment. We're also in a world where interconnectedness is on the rise, where we're seeing the effects of hazards and risks arising in some parts of the world playing out in others with often devastating consequences for people, whether we're talking about food or finance, climate change or global terrorism, or pandemics like the Ebola shock that, that rocked West Africa. The global political and economic landscape is also shifting very fast with the rise of, of China, of India, of Brazil and other so-called BRICS and MINTS and, and emerging powers challenging the, the power that was once held by the now declining economies of Europe and North America. So I think development needs to move beyond a focus on, on so-called countries of the global south or, or developing countries towards a universal framing that talks about progressive change for everybody everywhere. At IDS, we think there are three core challenges which must be tackled over the next period. First is reducing inequalities. The second is accelerating sustainability, particularly environmental sustainability. And the third is building more inclusive, secure and safe societies. Reducing inequalities is vital because although poverty matters, we're learning more and more that inequality matters too, and it matters to everybody at the higher ends of income spectrums as much as at the lower ends. Gaps between the top 20% and the bottom 20% are growing in virtually every country around the world. Economic inequalities are also intersecting with other kinds of inequality, um, whether around knowledge, whether around social opportunity, or whether around political voice and the opportunity to influence decisions that affect people's lives. So our focus on accelerating sustainability derives from the growing urgency of environmental change challenges related to climate but also to other things, biodiversity, land use change, declining water and forest resources. We know a great deal now about what the problems are but there's much less understanding of what to do about these and over the next period we want to make sure that development truly is sustainable development. Our focus on building more inclusive and secure societies derives from the, the devastating effects of conflict and violence on, on people's lives, but also the effects of other kinds of risk, economic, social, political, financial. Feeling safe and secure is absolutely crucial if people are going to feel good about themselves and if they're to build societies that work for people. Building inclusive societies in which people have a, have a stake in decisions that are made and can participate in the governance arrangements that are, are shaping what is done is absolutely critical. At IDS we're going to continue to develop and take forward our distinctive approach which we call engaged excellence. Engaged excellence is IDS's distinctive approach to constructing and mobilising knowledge and to teaching and mutual learning for development. Engaged excellence means that the high quality of our work, the excellence, is dependent upon it linking to and really involving those who are at the heart of the change we want to see. That's the engaged part. Engaged excellence has four key pillars. The first is delivering really high quality research, mixed methods across disciplines using the best that there is. The second is co-constructing knowledge with change agents on the ground. The third is mobilising that research evidence for real impact through cutting edge communications and interactive methods. And the final one is building enduring partnerships, equal partnerships with others across the world. Our engaged excellence approach also permeates our teaching and learning programmes which are critical to what we do. So we, we run a suite of high quality masters programmes across different development issues. We have a really lively body of PhD students who are carrying out research on all kinds of issues around the world. We run a set of, of professional training courses and, and short courses for, for people working in development practice in different areas. And all of this adds up not just to a very vibrant learning community at IDS, 
but also to an enormous network of alumni working in diverse settings across the world, many of whom then become our future research partners in, in the research and policy engagement work that we do into the future.